could instantly recognize the fact that we have lobules out here in the fatty area. We also have some lobules out here in a more fibrous area. Perhaps the only comment at this point is that the lobules may appear to be a little bit bigger and bluer than normal. Well, the reason why they are bigger and bluer than normal is because they are. And in addition, if you take a, uh, a relatively more normal looking lobule, you'll notice that even uh, though it is perhaps a little bit bigger and bluer, you can still see remnants of uh, lumen inside most of these asini, like there, like there, like there, like there. Whenever these uh, asini within the lobules fill up completely like here and here and here with little uniform uh, cells into which they're packed and you can't see the lumen anymore. This is lobular carcinoma in situ. Notice the lobule maintains its overall configuration, but the SNI are just packed with uh, uniform cells. And if you look at the cells, even though they're uniform, they are probably a little bit bigger, a little bit darker, and a little bit more irregular than normal uh, lobule cells. And I'm going to click onto a relatively normal lobule right away so you could see that. See how these are a little bit smaller. They're less uniform. They also, if you look at some of these smaller, spindlier cells at the periphery of the asini, you could probably imagine these are myoepithelial cells, whereas the vast majority of these cells here, at least 70%, are probably epithelial cells. Notice that these asini have lumen. Almost every one of them does. Notice that in the uh, asini, of lobular carcinoma in situ, there is virtually no lumen, and they're just packed with these cells. Another lobular carcinoma in situ. Uh, what more can we say? Actually, I can't think of anything to say, except lobular carcinoma in situ is usually found as incidental finding because these things do not form uh, palpable and often not even radiologically apparent uh, tumors. So, uh, because they're found as an incidental finding and they often do not infiltrate, usually for many years, many times, in fact, most times, the surgeons will not elect to do mastectomies. The bad news is, is that whenever these things do decide to infiltrate, they infiltrate in a very insidious, uh, diffuse pattern called Indian file in which the fibrous tissue is completely mixed in with these linear streaks of tumor cells, but we don't have that here. However, you would look very carefully at this entire biopsy to see if there is any infiltration because if you do find it, it changes this disease from basically a sort of a benign cancer into a very, very, very nasty one. Thank you very much.